Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about available date functions in Spark SQL. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and provide your feedback in the comment section. Thank you. So uh, we'll straight, uh, straight away go to the Scala code to see how can we use the various different functions uh, in Spark SQL using Scala. Uh, so friends, uh, this is the code I have written. I have created an object called date functions examples. I have defined the main method and I have set the property so that uh, when utils.exe exception will be resolved. And uh, I am creating the schema just to show you that we this is the way we can create a schema for the sample input file. So the input file has employee ID, employee name and date of joining. This joining is in uh, uh, e I mean uh, epoch date. So uh, we will first see how, how the data frame looks like. Then we will then we will check the remaining code base. Uh, so friends if you see here this is the way I defined the schema. Then I have created the Spark uh, session. Then in the data frame, I am reading uh, the CSV file, emp.date.csv. It has three columns, employee ID, employee name, name and date of joining in Unix timestamp. Time so let me run this code to show you what exactly is there in the data uh, frame. So if you see here, employee ID, employee name and date of joining. Date of jo joining is in Unix timestamp. So in most of the input files from clients, we receive in uh, Unix timestamp. So in this video, we will see how to convert that to uh, like a human readable timestamp and uh, how to apply other date functions as well. So the from this data frame, I am saying the data frame df dot with column date of joining and I am saying I am using this function from Unix time. This is the function to be used when the input file has the Unix time ta timestamp or epo epoch you say epoch or epoch usually that is the spelling usually used for the epoch time. So if you are getting and you wanted to convert that into normal human readable this kind of yymmdd format then you have to use the function from Unix time. and I am creating another da data frame uh, because this data frame now has this data of joining is changed to the from Unix time. So at a time I will show you the output uh, friends. So uh, in this I on this uh, data frame 1 I am saying that fetch the year. So this year function what it does was if you wanted to read only the year from the given date then you have to use year of the date. Then similarly month for that you have to use month function month of the date so from this date it will fetch only the month similarly day of the month which means what is today so from that what is the day 28th June or whatever date so from that date it will fetch the date of the month then day of the week so it will return what day it is if it is uh, Sunday it will give one if it is Monday it will give two uh, if it is Tuesday it will give three and etc. Then what is the quarter? So it takes from January. So January, February, ma ma March is first considered as first March. April, May, June is considered as uh, second uh, quarter. So and and then third quarter and then fourth quarter. So now it will return what quarter we are in. Then what is the last day of the given date? For example, if it has January, it will return like 31st January. If it is February based on the number if it's a leap year uh, it, it will give 28 29 29 otherwise it will give as 28 then similarly if it is March 31st March so it will give the last day of the given date so last underscore day is the function we have to use for that then add months add months is the function used for adding the number of months to the given date so I mean you will understand when I explain in the output so as of now just uh, read through the code like how to use the months so the add months will take two parameters first one is the date and second one is how many months you wanted to add then date add this function is for adding adding the days to the date then 
date underscore sub this function will subtract the number of days if it is 30th it will remove uh, I mean it will subtract 30 uh, 4 from the 30 and it will say 26th so similarly then if you wanted to get the R R uh, in the from from the timestamp then you have to use R function similarly we have minute function second function then if you wanted to get only the current timestamp in this as per the system then you have to use the current underscore timestamp and let's say you wanted to uh, convert the date format you wanted to have the date format in different format than the input file format then you have to use date format column then cast it as a date because here if you see it is having the uh, string type here we can try to add the date type as well uh, if I mean here I have taken a string type uh, before uh, understanding about this functional right so that's why it is string and here I am casting it as date and then I am saying that it give me in this format and while doing that just remember that why year should be in small month should be in caps and day should be in small this this is the way it will work if you give capital Y it will not going it is not going to work and then um, uh, for getting the date difference like if you give from date and start date it will give you what is the different how many days are there between those two days so for that because here I am having in DF2 I am having the uh, like uh, 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 two days uh, I am creating another DF and I am doing the DF2 dot with column and then I am getting the date difference between these two dates from DF2 so friends let me run this code and uh, explain you with the output how each function works So if you see here, this is the output, and um, uh, I mean we are we are taking it as a df uh, do with do with column. So employee ID, employee name, and then date of joining is common, and then from here we will start. Okay, so year, from year it has taken that this is the date of joining. On top of this column only we have applied all these date functions. So if you see here, 2021 is the year in all these dates so it has returned 2021 for the column year if you say with column here right here we are seeing similarly this is what next one is with column month so under the month column it is taking that this is from June this is from January this is from February this is from March and this is from April so this month is returning only the month of the uh, date whatever is uh, the date we are sending as the input then day of the month so what is the date here it's 28th then 25th then 14th then 16th then 10th so from the date whatever is the date it is going to print that next we have days of week days of week is this 28th June is uh, on a uh, I mean it will tell you if it is uh, Monday to again it's Monday it's Sunday it's again Monday Tuesday Wednesday similarly it will give it's the Saturday thing so it will count the number uh, what is a day based on the day it will give the uh, integer value then coming to the quarter it, it is uh, I mean it, because it's June it is taking as uh, second uh, quarter and then January, February, March, January, February, March, first quarter, then April is second because April, May, June, these three are considered as second quarter. And then last day of the month. So for June, it is 30th June is the last day. For uh, January, 31st Jan. Uh, and then uh, for February, 28th because this is not a leap year. And then for March, 31st March is the last day of the month. And for April, 30th April is the last day of the month and then add months now we are saying that for this DOJ add two months 
so now this is 6th 28 so it should be 8 which is see here add months it has become 8 and then th because this is 0 1 it has become 0 3 which is March and this is February it has become April this is March this has become May so two months has been added to the same date then add date we are saying that add da date add function will add three days to the uh, date of uh, this uh, date of joining column so now what is this this is 28th uh, June so it has added three days and it became 1st July this is 25th January it has added added three days and it became 28th January and so on next is reduce days reduce days will deduct that number of uh, given days from the data this date of joining column we are reduce we are saying to reduce four four days from the date so it will become 24th june 21st john 10th feb and so on so this reduce days is the output of that reduce days function next hour so this is 18 this is 20 20 19 18 whatever is there in our column it will give similarly for minutes if you see whatever is available in minutes it will print the minute similarly seconds or minute second and the current time the current time is given here current time is current time stamp then date format here we have given as mmm -Y 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 -Y. it has given the month name in three uh, I mean three characters and then the year so here you can change it to something like y y y y m m d d or m m d d y y usually uh, if you want just the month and year fully you can try with these uh, formats here as well and then we have date difference date difference from added date and the reduced days so yeah added date, date from 1st July to 24th June which is 7 days that because here we have added uh, uh, here we have added um, 3 days and we have reduced 7 days so that's why for e for these uh, two dates always it has given us 7 days here you can try with very different uh, file for I mean date formats and you can try to get all these uh, uh, I mean you can try to use all these date functions on the given data frame uh, so friends I think uh, this is clear to you uh, if at all you have any questions uh, you can post it in the comment section I'll try to answer your questions thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning thank you